Hello everybody, my name is Toosplot and welcome back to m my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series and this time around we're here at Taffington Boathouse which is probably one of my other favorite settlements to work on. Um, Alright, so this is spawn, let's, so let's just start here. So I've got a scavenging station here as well as a couple of merchants. We've got the general and the clothing over here. And then let's move toward the boathouse itself. There are some gourd crops over here. And then I got another farm. I'm actually not sure where. It's got to be over there uh, by the Slocum's job, but we'll get to that. So we got our Brahmin and another uh, scavenging station. I forget if there's anything in here. It looks like there isn't. Uh, I got a 40 water pump here, and the fusion generator, vault, the population settlement software, uh, radio beacon, another scavenging station. Oh, and there were these lanterns that were on top of uh, these posts here, but since they don't properly fit, um, I put them beside them as if like this is where their original locations were, and it is to the point um, where they were. Now for defense uh, and respawn points, I think there's one, and it's I think it's somewhere relatively over here. I think. Um, as why I have a line of turrets on the roof, um, on the porch of the boathouse, so they can all just immediately fire at once. Okay, let's move inside. We got a little lounging, a couple places. I hear Kate. Kate is here, since I got her from the, uh, Wow, I can, what is the place you get her from? I am drawing a massive blank here. The combat zone. I knew I would get that. Um, left the kitchen. I added a stove and a yellow fridge from the Creation Club. Otherwise, I didn't do anything much with the kitchen. Um, her, she's going to be very distracting in this video. So then we got the bar over here, we got the soda machine from Vault Tech Workshop. And then if we come up here, we got a doctor's office, we've got a Phoropter, and we got a barber next to the dead body that won't despawn. Um, this dresser was here with the radio, I left it just because it adds more ambiance to the area if it weren't for the dead body. And then over here I got uh, the slot machines from Vault Tech Workshop. Um, and then a... Oh, that's kind of distracting, isn't it? And then I got one of the arcade machines from the Creation Club. I put down Zeta Invaders. These uh, machines will... Oh gosh, I'm not very good at this one. Uh, these slot ma these machines will... Arcade machines will uh, be featured in future showcase videos. So it's just like the uh, Pit Boy games that you get in the base game from the Robco um, magazines. Oh, darn it. Lost a the life there. I'm not sure like what this is supposed to be modeled after. I mean, I know the game, but I can't think of the title. Space Invaders? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be similar to Space Invaders. Is it supposed to get faster? Is it? Oh, I was not paying attention. Ah! Uh, don't hit me! Don't hit me! Oh gosh. I almost got this line. Come on. Oh, damn it, you're not going to show up over here. Oh, God, no. This is taken away from it 
from the tour of the settlement, but I've almost got it. Come on. Okay, get over here. I need you. There we go. Oop. Almost. Oh my gosh, I might actually do it. Maybe the first time I've done this. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, I got it! Okay, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Woo! Alright. I remember that from a Futurama episode where they made reference to Space Invaders and Fry's like, I can never get the last ship, I always had my brother do it for me. Alright, so there's that. Um, we got a secondary farm over here, we got a giant carrot farm. And then I added a Slocum's Joe because I figured because this is right along the main stretch of road, I figured why not put a Slocum's Joe here. So I did. Um, I'm trying to think now how many Slocum's Joe I actually have in my settlements, and I only have a few. So we come on in here. There's the mer merchandise. I'm sorry, my ears are ringing right now. Uh, so we got the merchandise mannequin over here. We got the box of donuts and the buzz bites, of course. Uh, we got some booths, and it looks out into the water, so there's a nice scene there. And then we got our friendly Slocum's Joe Excuse me. Can't remember the last server. I had clean fingernails. Yes? Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. Why can't I interact with you? Why can't I interact with you? I want to. <clears throat> out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Okay, I don't know why I can't interact with you. I want to look at your whatever, but okay. Uh, we got the donut rack. You got the coffee station. Oh, I did not put a donut rack down because. Uh. Because I didn't have the cooking oil on me. Um. I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Can I please interact with you? Easy living, this okay, I can't. There was like... I ran into some trouble with the donut vendor. The Slogan's Joe vendor when I was putting this down. I think it was just here at Taffington. Like, for whatever reason, when I scrolled through the menus to get to the Slocum's Joe, it would not appear in my build menu. Let's see if it will do it now just for... Shits and giggles, let's see if it'll do it. If I go to Slocum's Joe... The... If anything wants to load... Okay, here... No, it did not... Does not show up. The vendor stall does not show up. And even if I go into... Crafting... It doesn't show up. Oh wait, no, 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 not crafting, stores. Even if I go to stores and I go to... Wow, food and drink does not even show up. This is what I'm talking about. It's like food and drink doesn't show up sometimes. I had to like... Otherwise leave the settlement and come back and then it would be fine. That's why he doesn't work. So that's a little bug. And, uh, alright, I will show you guys what it looks like when it gets dark. Alright, here we are with Taffings and Boathouse, this time the night. Uh, adequate lighting for the merchant. And then it's very, very lit up inside, as you could probably tell even in the daytime. Uh, the torches are nice. Not torches. The, uh, lanterns are a nice little accented touch. Um, when I came back down after sleeping, there was a settler that was stuck in the stairs, but he seems to be alright now. And this is where they congregate, apparently. Inside, which is good. Uh, and then you can tell the Slocum's Joe from a mile away with that pink light. And, uh, I'm actually trying to think, like, this is even a big Slocum's Joe, and kind of not really. Eh, alright. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for Taffington Boathouse. 
like I said, this is one of my probably favorite settlements. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did do some patchwork with the roof. Uh, for best I could, I uh, grabbed the uh, floor tiles from the scaffolding, which is from, I'm not sure which workshop, I think it's probably from Wasteland Workshop, I wouldn't think it would be from Contraptions. And uh, so I used that to patch up the roof the best I could. There are some holes and wow, look at the sky. I've actually never noticed the fallout sky. Wow, it's really pretty. Um, so yeah, I did the roofing the best I could. I wish I could have put something in the shed. I was going to call it a water shed, but I wish I could have put something in here. Or even, I think I tried to put the water pump in here. I think the 10... I think the 10 water can fit in here, but not the 40. Um, I was even thinking about patching this up. Uh, but that wasn't going to work. So I wish I could have done something with it, but I can't really. So, uh, yeah, that's... That's uh, tapping the Moe House. Next we'll move on to Slog. When game auto saves every five minutes. Oh yeah, then from the fusion generator, I did have to uh, put conduits everywhere along to the boat uh, to the Sokums Joe. But yeah, that's gonna close out for this video for Tapping Doom Boathouse Tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to subscribe and hit that bell notification button for future content like this, as well as any other content that may be uploaded in my channel and uh thank you everybody so much for watching i'll catch you guys next time